goals. McKenna, but the distance wasn't there. A great punch goes out towards Price. Price across to Robert Rose. Robert Rose will shoot for goal. This looks a better one. That's a good one. And Coach Bob Rose will be particularly proud of his son because if ever they needed one, that was one that Collingwood wanted. No word of this, Doug, at this point of the game. Down to the ground it comes. It's picked up, driven out of danger once again. And a chance now for Barry Price. Price does it well. He's one of the best kicks in the side. From a very difficult angle, puts it. Through. Barry Price, who's been very quiet. I think that's kick number six, but what a beauty it was. 74. Down 21 points at halftime, McCulling. Holford kicking in at the 24-minute mark. Boyanich is there. Tudnam claims it. Asked to play on. Gets the hand pass towards Price. Quiet. Thompson and uh, player behind. 6-3 to 1-2, and that's why there's such a dramatic change come over the game. Collingwood in front. The ball to Thompson. And it looks so easy. Timed it beautifully. Tony, he's the player that has had the big influence on the game in this quarter. Out it comes here onto the wing. Mackenzie's got hold of the ball, looking for the hand pass. He gives it to O'Callaghan. He falters for a moment, gives it to a man who might well be covered in prize. He runs into two. They grab him high. Lucky. He comes out with the free kick. Bartlett grabbed him high. On the centre wing, the kick is by Price, and a strong kick at that. Onto the half. Oh. 25 minutes just ticked over. Heard gets a tap down. Over towards Price. Price gets it over to Richardson. He's up forward. The pack flies. No mark. Here they go. It's Oborn once again. Austin after him. Over to Twiggy Dunn. Dunn hooks it over. Thompson's waiting there. Thompson turns around and triggers it through. Well, scores a level. No, a level at half time and plays underway again. Martello the thump. Here comes Wayne Richardson in trouble. Boots towards the half forward line for the Collingwood side. Out comes Dews. Over the back it goes. Here comes the chance for Collingwood. Barry Price. Beautiful pass to McKenna. A gem. Barry Price has played a magnificent game this afternoon. It's been the Barry Price of old, Farrell, hasn't it? That certainly has. Has. Tremendous pace and the disposal has been absolute perfection. He has not made a mistake. Clearly, best player on the ground. McKenna lines up, bangs for goal, and he's put it through. Since I've seen a high kick in the air by Stevenson, a wasted opportunity, thumped away by Cranage. It's in the hands now of Cranage. Right back to Max Richardson. A short kick by Richardson has found Beck. Beck looking for uh, drawing the man to him. Hand pass to Price. Price at centre half forward. Lines it up, and he's put it through. The game. Oh. Park Oval, Thompson with the opportunity here, waited for his teammate Clifton to go for it, it's been tapped out now, giving Price the opportunity, balked out nicely, got on the left foot, hooks back now toward the half forward flank area, it's up towards centre wing where we see Oborn with the opportunity, being high to spoil, but Keogh at the back awaits the crumb, he forces it to the turf, a chance now for Clifton with the ball under him, Clifton got out nicely, a hand pass to Price, Price hand passes to Thompson, Thompson back now to Price, Price coming from centre half back, this is beautiful football being played at BFL Park, the pass not that good, the mark not taken at the free kick has been awarded and the uh, kick will be taken by Wayne Richardson. Wayne Richardson from just on half forward flank looking downfield toward Big Bob Hurd. The kick by Wayne Richardson from the side of the boot toward Bob Hurd. Hurd getting up, can't going to force the ball out of the pack. Being hotly pressed by O'Callaghan. Thompson coming on the scene. He upset uh, Keogh completely. His hand pass from Thompson now finding Barry Price. Price going upfield. He's going up towards a half forward flank area. Hand pass to Big Jenkins. Should hand pass it quickly. He does so. Up toward uh, Big Bob Hurd. He should get it moving. Bob Hurd now straightens up. Shoots at goal for Collingwood. And it looks like no, he's just... 
umpire Robinson bouncing once again. Jones with the front berth, but Thompson beat him to it. It will be taken by Cray. No, he's missed it. A chance now for Price of Collingwood to get moving. On the left foot he goes, looking down. Phil McKenna's out. No, it's over his health. Be deciding on the long kick. Kicks it high, more towards centre half back than anything else. They double back on it. The ball comes to the ground. Taken by Price. Breaks clear. Looks for a teammate. Can't find one. Decides to put it long up towards Thompson. He waits for it down there. Bounce about to take place at the eight and a half minute mark of the third quarter. Where Thompson and Jones once again clash at the centre bounce. Taken away by Barry Price. Price going forward. The long kick's over the head of McKenna. Can he get back to it? Yes, McKenna! I just mentioned him and McKenna bobs up. Well, McKenna's charged down for his first goal of the game. This is his first kick. He's taking this kick eight minutes and 40 seconds into the third quarter. And, and Collingwood are down by six points. If McKenna kicks accurately, the scores will be level once again. It's Peter McKenna coming in. He's it's swinging back now from the boot of Peter McKenna. Scores a tie, nine minutes into the third quarter. McKenna having his first kick, and naturally enough, that's his first goal. Carlton still in. Nichols doing battle. Thompson didn't get the tap down, neither did Nichols. Picked up by Robert Dean. Once again, it's getting carried toward the boundary line, but umpire Robinson indicates a free kick to Collingwood's Robert Dean in this back pocket position where that last boundary throw-in took place. Dean from this position looks upfield to where Jenkins is calling on centre wing. Dean's uh, slips is about to come in to kick. Now it's Dean placing the ball up toward Jenkin. Thompson's there also. They all fly high. It's uh, taken here by Barry Price. A hand pass to Oborn. Oborn on the left foot. Kicks up toward the half forward flank area. Side of the ground. Players backing back. Could be the man in front. Roberts, but it's called play on. Through they come there. No free kick. Oh, yes, is it being paid? Looks like Price is on. Price to take it. Who went off, Bob? William F, I think, Mike. Price. 19th man is on now. Both teams with their 19th men on. Two great champions, Richmond with Roy's Hart and third up over the top. It comes through as Bay comes out. Bay puts the ball onto the boot. It's off the side of the boot and back to Holmes again. He spills the sit of it. He's backed up there. Jenkins does a blind hand pass to Price. Price with a left foot kick looking for Wayne Richardson. He couldn't quite get to the ball before it bounced. Which is Richardson tries to force it out. Throws it out in front and gets infringed afterwards. He's thrown it out. One of those uh, could have been or could not have been, but there's no doubt that Richardson was infringed against after getting rid of the ball. He's right on the boundary line, about 45 to 50 metres from goal. Yet to kick a goal. A vital kick at this stage of the game, with Collingwood leading by eight points as Wayne Richardson puts the ball in towards goal. Right, let's kick. Right off the side of his boot, the big men fly. Jenkins has the ball knocked away from Walsh, picked up by Price. Price, however, back into the goal square. Thompson's there, backing back. Points of difference in favour of the Magpies. A lovely kick by Clay towards the member's side of the ground. Stewart up high over the top. Price again comes out with the pack, out of the pack with the ball. Hooks it back over the shoulder where Bissett's all on his own. It's over, almost over his head. And we see Bissett juggling the mark to take it. Bissett, a great first half. Very quiet in the third term. One stage in the hands of the trainers with the cramp. Dean Bissett. There's Thompson and McGee. Bissett goes short, looking for Kink and finds Kink with a lovely pass. Kink in a similar position to where he kicked one in the second term. He's kicked three. In and Jenkin. Green coming across. Green, Jenkin up high, but it's taken now by Bartlett. He comes back again, but it's given nice. against Bartlett. Richmond fans not happy, but it's been the decision that uh, umpire Dalla has been consistent with all players all day. As we see Barry Price put a kick down towards half forward. Thompson's there. He's up high, but it's punched away. It's taken by Atkinson. He tried to burst through the pack. He does so. He comes down now. It's Holmes of Collingwood. Holmes kicks a goal. Holmes a brilliant goal as Holmes burst through with pace, showing great desperation. It's his first. Only a youngster Holmes, but it was a magnificent effort to put Collingwood back to one goal up once again. A great effort by the youngster. Falling, a great effort to mark by Clifton. He's backed up by Gott, who comes across. Gott's bundled out of the way. Might have nearly been a free kick. Gott, it is Gott's free kick. As Gott picks the ball up, goes into the centre of the ground. 
finds Price, who's been a good player in this turn. Price goes on across the ground where we've gone. Visit, Visit pummels the ball on the first occasion, but has time to steady. Puts it wide, looking for Dean. Dean's on his own, and Dean steadies the player. Final quarter gone, still time for Collingwood to get back in it. But can they? That's a big question. There's a hand pass from Thompson over here towards Price. Price is grabbed. Their forwards are falling down on the uh, last moments of the game. Manessa kicks, however. Manessa's kick is a long one. The top line and through for one behind. Their forwards, Kane is in there, taken by Walsh, he loses possession. Ball picked up by Barry Price. He hasn't got uh, many places to go. He gets it out. A Minigo gets a hand pass out the gut. It's a bit long. He's in a bit of trouble here. Picked up nicely this time by Price. Price with a long kick up there looking for Austin and Davis. Neither can take them up. He goes towards the outer side. Almost a mark there, but play on. Barry. Price. In the goal. Fires. That's coming over to Terry Moore this time. Ball goes back towards the centre of the ground. A mark taken here by Barry Price at centre field. Hand pass over to Magro. The ball goes up. The stand side. Shocking kick. Kicking of both sides atrocious in the last few minutes. Davis with a shot for goal should have gone through. Nice to right, but it's intercepted. Bryce can't get out. He's in trouble. Gets it back again. Each uh, turn is grabbed. But the umpire says play on. As Price goes for a pass, it's a good one to Betts. And Betts will be about, let's see, no more than about uh, 40 metres out from goal. 45 metres out from goal. Collingwood in front by a point. They're 32 to uh, Hawthorne, 31. There's Don Scott down there with Davis. Got him covered. Kick doesn't quite make the distance. In front is Austin. And has paid the mark. Right in front. Austin's already kicked one goal. Only be about uh, three or four metres out. And Scott seems to have more bandages than Florence Nightingale. He's got his thigh strap now as well. Yeah, well, he's uh, certainly got his side going in the first five minutes. There's no doubt about that. Will Austin kick this goal? Yes, he's put it through. Uh, well, Bobby, that's a handy one. A very handy one, Lou. And uh, I think the one play Hawthorne player that has to lift his game is David. A free kick went against him. Up towards half forward now. Valley for Collingwood. Valley's kick doesn't cover that much distance. It should be a mark. And it's taken down there by Barry Plotts. Collingwood have got loose men everywhere at the moment and started off the third quarter in great style. He should be able to kick this Barry Price. He's a beautiful kick as a rule. He certainly can deliver the ball better than most players. I'm sure Peter McKenna would vouch for that. He used to uh, hit him on the chest repeatedly in the earlier days. Barry Price from 40 metres out. That's not a bad kick. It's uh, touched, I think, off the hand. Yes, one point to Collingwood. So that takes them further in front to six goals, two, 38 points. Leading Hawthorne forward, but it's going to be a free kick to Ronnie Wearmouth. And Wearmouth takes the free kick for the Magpie. Centre wing, breaks away. Ronnie's full 10 metres, gets it uh, back to Magro over to Wearmouth. Wearmouth has clear it out. DP Domenico, a funny looking kick if ever we saw one. Manane tries to go through the pack. Price tackles well. It's a free kick to Barry Price for throwing the ball, says the umpire. And Barry Price to take the free kick for the Magpies at centre half forward. A veteran in the Magpie team, back with the Collingwood side this year, and it's nice to see him back in Victoria. Austin in front, not back there towards the, the half back line again. Henry flies, couldn't hold the mark. It's Price trying to get clear. Now he gets a good hand pass to William out. Plenty of distance in that one, too. Off the hands of O'Halloran. Rice again. Price. From Rice to Price. They were usually the middle of the ball par excellence. Players flying here now, punched away by E. They're all having a kick. It finally comes off the ground to uh, Price. Boots it back there looking for Brewer. Couldn't hold up at this stage of the year. That's exactly right. But uh, the other interesting uh, aspect is that the 18 and a half minute mark of the third quarter was the last time Hawthorne scored goal or point. There's Collingwood going forward again as they get it up there. But it's coming on the ground as Johnson. And going off was uh, Anderson. Right? Anderson. Collingwood getting it down to their half four feet. Goes at the centre half back position now. Boots it back towards centre field. Punched away by Price. He tried to mark it. It's 58 to be exact. The ball knocked away by Wearmouth. There we see Price overrun it. Tucks right on his back now. He's clear. Gets a hand pass out to Valley. Valley with nothing.